Li Shi Chong has given nearly two thirds of his life to what was once the world's largest casting factory, and he still works here, even though the plant is now a museum. Nobody wanted to work here. It was black, dirty, and tiring. We've all paid a huge price to build our country. The collapse of inefficient state owned heavy industries in the late 1990s closed hundreds of factories in Shenyang. Today, birds sing where black smoke once billowed. Air quality is not the only concern from the legacy left behind by factories such as this. It's what's been leached into the ground as well. Shenyang has undergone a huge transformation, but we still have a lot to do when it comes to regulating and improving our environment. There are a few more projects we plan to move out in the next few years. After that, the soil will need to be restored so the land can be redeveloped. For some of the older generation who remember perhaps Shenyang as it was, uh, as a major manufacturing center, um, there might be some reluctance to get into new developments in some of these areas um, because their sort of mindset is around what it used to be like rather than the, the new phase of Shenyang. Um, but for the younger buyers, first time household, you know, sort of new households, first time buyers, young professionals, I think we're seeing a slightly more open minded approach. All across the city, Mao era block housing is being bulldozed for better accommodation, like these Riverview apartments. A few years ago, the park in front was a garbage processing plant. And across the river is the centerpiece of Shenyang's turnaround, the Olympic Stadium, which this week plays host to the world's most famous soccer team, Brazil. The Olympics have pushed Shenyang's transformation. We haven't seen a big change in property prices this year partly because of the government's tightening measures. But in the previous five years, property prices in the city center doubled. Like its harsh winters and sweltering summers, Shenyang can be a city of extremes, witnessed daily right under the watchful eye of the great helmsman himself. There really is no way to compare the past with today. The difference has been like heaven and hell. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Shenyang, China.